hey guys and welcome back to my channel my name is keisha finally got my tripod back into action so decided to do a sit down video in today's video i really wanted to talk about life after vsg i'm really loving these series and um talking about how i stay consistent and how to keep the weight off after vsg the only thing with me as you guys know if you guys have been following me i did get pregnant about seven months about seven months post vsg and my lowest weight that i got to with vsg was 232 right now i am at 237 239 and i'm going into two years post-op so let's just talk about that a little bit what i usually do for me i am a very organized and systematic type of person um, I like to eat the same foods. I like to do the same thing. I don't like to fall off track or fall off my schedule, especially being a mom of two small kids. You can probably hear my son in the background. Like, it is what it is. But just having everything very, very structured is really how I become very successful. Monday through Friday is gym in the morning before work. Having my meals not really planned, but just... um an idea of what I want to do, keeping everything in the house as healthy as possible. I know a lot of people say, well, I have kids and all this stuff. I feel like there are ways around um, giving your kids super unhealthy foods. Um, I always have fruit in my house. I have these things, um, they're like fruit roll up, but they're just dried fruit. Um, I think they're called fruit sticks or fruit strips that's what that that might be what it's called and to me it reminds me of um fruit roll up and my son loves it because it tastes like candy so there's that i always keep granola bars in the house now granola bars are not always the healthiest and with my son i always give him like the chocolate covered peanut butter something that i know i'm not gonna like but it's a big treat for him um what else um, I tend to keep things that I know I'm not gonna like, but I know my son's gonna like. If you, if your kids like basically anything with a lot of sugar, um, chocolate based or peanut based or coconut based, those things I don't like. So I tend, but I know my son likes it. So I tend to keep it in the house because I know I'm not gonna reach for it at all. Um, gummies, anything sweet, Starburst like that. I don't keep any of that in the house. Um, I've been trying to get. So recently, what did I get? Oh, I got some um, veggie straws. I got some cauliflower chips. I got some veggie, like tortilla, a lot of like snacky type things, but it was also healthy as well. And I felt like just because I knew they were so healthy and they were a little bit different, like gluten-free and all that stuff, um, no salt added. I didn't eat it as much, but I still liked it as a snack. So just bringing in healthy items, but not really indulging or just getting like the instead of getting doritos i got like um what were they called dang what were they called cauliflower nor uh, cauliflower cheese flavor just alternatives like that really helped me out um another thing like i said being consistent for me the gym plays a big part in my mental health i know everybody is so big on weight loss weight loss weight loss but i feel like if my mental is not healthy and doesn't okay, isn't better, Mom. okay better. all right okay if my mental isn't all the way there i'm not gonna feel right i'm not gonna feel healthy i'm gonna feel very chaotic and i'm probably gonna start eating so that's another thing it's very very big and it's very important for me to go to the gym monday through friday <laughs> literally i do about 25 to 30 minutes whatever i have time for and just get it done and it's really helpful for me um another thing is which i was never really something i never really did but being happy and being positive about the little things um you know i had vsg surgery and i'm not down 100 pounds or i'm not the smallest i've ever been like it's okay you know what i mean i feel like my tool is still helping me and I feel like fasting and doing a liquid diet and cutting your calories a lot really helps. Um, especially, I think it helps even more now that I have VSG because my stomach is more tolerant to smaller amounts than the bigger amounts, if that makes sense. Um, 
I think I talked about this before. On average, I probably could have eaten about 4,000 calories a day when I didn't have VSG. And now on a cheat meal day, I probably can eat about 2,500. So that's like a huge difference. Um, to be two years out, that's like really, really big. But um, I still have my cheat meals. I do go on vacation probably about or do something vacation related, whether it's a weekend or four or five days, probably every two months. So that that's why I really don't do cheat meals like I used to do. I tried it in the beginning of this year, really didn't like it. So what I do is anytime I go on vacation, I did a lot of vacationing in August, nothing in September. So I really don't do that much cheat meals in September just because I know in October I'm going to be going away. I'm going to be traveling for about four days. So that's just works, what works best for me. I know some people like to do treat meals, a little treat every day. Some people like to do it weekly, monthly, whatever works best for you. But just don't be so hard on yourself. That's one thing about me. I used to be so hard on myself on every little thing, whether it was scales or what size I'm at, why I'm not moving. I've been so grateful of um the slow cycle but consistency you know what i mean just the consistency um even if i don't lose another pound this year i was so consistent i didn't gain anything i lost what i right now i'm down 20 pounds so that just is amazing in itself and yeah just be proud of yourself and that's really like i said that's really how i stay consistent being on schedule having a plan being organized staying consistent and don't let these little things get to you like because you didn't lose a pound or two pounds you know be happy for the little things and all the non-scale victories that you go through you probably hear my son sorry about that but that's it for this video and i'll catch you guys in another one bye guys